Welcome to one of our Alpha Laval 360 degree service and maintenance videos. With Alpha Laval service, you maximize the reliability and uptime of your equipment. The result is superior performance throughout the life cycle of your equipment, performance that puts you ahead of the competition. Here we will focus on how to conduct service and maintenance on the standard Alpha Laval TJ40G rotary jet head using our service kit with genuine Alpha Laval spare parts. Timely replacement of wear parts prevents costly damage. Follow the instruction manual regarding maintenance intervals and the use of service kits. Remember, always read the instruction manual thoroughly to make sure you cover all maintenance steps. This video only shows you some of the steps. To maintain the Alpha Laval TJ40G rotary jet head, these tools are required. Each Alpha Laval service kit contains all the spare parts you need. How to assemble the Alpha Laval TJ40G rotary jet head. First, wet the surface of the O-ring for the body with water to ease the assembly. Mount the O-ring over the body. Mount the hub with a ball retainer and hub nut into the body that houses the hub. Screw in the hub nut almost all the way. Note the left hand thread. Move the O-ring from the body into the O-ring groove on the body. Tighten the hub nut to the body using a caliper. Make sure the O-ring is properly positioned in the O-ring groove. Tighten to metal to metal stop. It is important that no lubricants or Loctite are used. Now fasten the machine in a bench vise. To protect the surfaces, always use soft jaws. Insert the gearing into the body. It may be necessary to rotate the gearing to make sure the holes fit with the thread holes in the body. Insert the three screws for the body. Fasten using torque values according to the instruction manual. Next, insert the stem into the body. Place the ball retainer with balls around the stem. Place the stem nut around the stem and tighten the stem nut into the body using a caliper. Place the O-rings around the stem and on top of the stem. Insert the planet gear assembly into the stem and onto the gearing. It may be necessary to wiggle the machine a little to get the planet gear assembly properly positioned. Insert the impeller assembly into the planet gear assembly. Rotate the impeller by hand to ensure that it rotates freely. Mount the guide assembly onto the top of the stem. Wet the surface of the stem O-rings with water to ease assembly. Mount the cone over the guide assembly. Catch the thread on the stem and tighten the cone onto the stem. Tighten to metal to metal stop. It is important that no lubricants or Loctite are used. Now remove the machine from the bench vise. Wet the surface of the nozzle O-rings with water to ease assembly. Mount the nozzles with O-rings into the hub. Make sure the O-rings are properly positioned in the O-ring grooves. Tighten to metal to metal stop. After assembly, check that the turbine rotates freely using a socket wrench at the top of the turbine. Turn it counterclockwise while holding the machine by the cone. The hub with nozzles should rotate very slowly. 